Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. I was too busy uploading a selfie to my Facebook page. The smartphone is arguably the epitome of technology and media convergence. It seems every day another app is released which adds to its endless range of media and functionality. But how did our love affair with the mobile begin? The first mobile phone was invented by Dr. Martin Cooper, an electrical engineer for Motorola in 1973. It weighed a whopping 1.1 kilograms and cost over $4,000. The battery lasted for just 20 minutes. As technology and affordability improved, sales of mobile spiralled. By the early noughties, digitisation had seen digital cameras and iPods become popular. Wireless internet speeds were also increasing and becoming more affordable. One company saw the opportunity to create a mobile phone where media could converge on one smart platform, and the iPhone was born. I love it. I love it! Never before have we been able to do so much with so little. The iPhone saw a metamorphosis of technology from mobile communications to mobile media. A large colourful screen designed to be stroked gave users access to a dynamic media hub of apps. Apps made phones fun, social, entertaining, knowledgeable, an emotional container where you could connect with the world like never before. And wow, the world just got a whole lot bigger. Who knew you had this many friends? And enjoy a new level of ambient intimacy and never be bored at the bus stop again. Or get lost, or your friends wonder where you are, or live in wonder. And we can create from just about anywhere. In Australia, there are now more mobile phones than people. In just seven years, mobile media has become ubiquitous and they are never turned off. Could you live without your mobile phone? Really? No, God! No, God, please, no, no! Never before have we been able to communicate, create, and participate at this level of intimacy. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. Oh, and then there's social media etiquette. And if our mobile phones are always on, how are we going to cope with this growing pressure on attention and constant distraction? While some people are finding it hard to switch off, others are finding it hard to determine what's real and what's not. What is real? How do you define real? In an age when we have more friends who we know more about more often, where we can share, create and participate with a swipe and a tap from anywhere, it's good to know we'll never be lonely.